I'm the manager. You ought to pull your car over there. Do you know who in the hell I am? Miss Dennis, I'm well aware of who you are, but you'll have to use the rear entrance. Wait just a minute. I have stayed at the Waldorf Astoria, the Ritz, hotels that make this place look like a flea-ridden dump and leap for Please, your car's in the seat. And I'll make more than that if you don't take your hands off of me. Where's Mr. Katz? Is your manager here with you? No. My husband is not here. And whatever contract he signed with you is null and void unless you let me, my band, and any colored person in this town into this hotel through that door. I'm sorry. I respect your talent. But not my race. Well, you couldn't pay me to play here, stay here, or waste another minute talking to a jackass like you. Hey. Did you hear that? Yeah, she cusses like a cowboy. Simple ass white people. No matter how much you trust them, they always let you down. They're just so damn white. I don't see how anyone in this day and age can be so ashamed of their race. Well, I think you're jumping to conclusions, Renee. Emmy. That woman just stood there staring at us, thinking, what are these black people doing in my door? <laughs> I know, if it wasn't so tragic, it'd be funny. Mama holding her casserole, me with my briefcase. She probably thought we were selling religious magazines. <laughs> well, now, I don't know anything about this passing for white business, but don't you think you ought to have a conversation with your cousin before you tar and feather him? The gall coming here telling us that he just moved back to town. Oh, never been married. He is a liar and a coward. Don't the words innocent until proven guilty mean anything to you? Thank you so much for letting me borrow your copy machine. I better get this back to my business partner before he cracks the whip. Oh, Emmy, I'm so sorry. I've been so busy bitching about my so-called cousin. I forgot to help you with your budget. That's all right. I passed high school math. You got a D. A C minus. An A in English. I believe you got a C in that. That teacher hated me. You know that. Give your cousin the benefit of a doubt. Talk to him. Just hear him out. Please, I'll probably never see him again. I just didn't know how to tell you. I've driven down your street so many times, and I had to force myself to keep going. Sorry we went to your house. We didn't know we were going to blow your cover. Please, you don't know what it's been like. I never meant to pass. Things just seemed easier. For Doyle Dennis, there were no limits. But still, being Danny inside... That was your choice, Danny. When I came here the other day, it was like my car was on automatic pilot. What do you want, Danny? I'm here because you're my family, and I have nowhere else to turn. You're broke. What is it, baby? I have leukemia on Sarah. Oh, my God. I knew how it would look coming back here now, but I have not been able to find a bone marrow donor. I've tried everything, national donor banks, registries. Wait a minute. Are you looking for a donor in this family? After having turned your back on us for how many years, now that you're sick, you want to come home? Don't you worry, Danny. I'll get everybody in the family tested. Blood is thicker than anything. Well, isn't that ironic? Malcolm said it, didn't he? That chickens always come home to roost. You don't think he's going to tell his white wife that he's really a Negro? I mean, we don't use that word anymore. I know you don't. That's why I said it. I believe if Danny didn't need our damn bone marrow to save his ass, he would depart this life as white as the satin in his coffin. He is white. Look at him. I mean, his mother is my mother's sister. He is black. And his daddy is white, which technically means that he's half black and half white. Technically, in America, if you have got one drop of black blood in you, you are black. This is a black man who chooses to deny the fact that he's Maybe he's just a black man who's chosen to embrace his whiteness. What's wrong with that? But not at the cost of denying who he is. He is welcome to embrace his whiteness without denying his family and his race. Most black people have white blood in them. Ever since slavery, whites have father-children bias. How do you think we get all these different skin tones and eye colors and hair textures? I got two words for you. Thomas Jefferson. You don't look like you have any white blood. Well, thank you. But I do. My great-grandfather on my mother's side. I cannot believe you never told me that before. Are you ashamed of your white blood, <sighs> Renee? I'm white. Oh, shut up. The point is, is that 
I don't feel any better or more validated because of it. Unlike Danny, who is so ashamed of the fact that he's black, he can't even admit to having one drop. And that is so frustrating. It's a free country. He's just passing, honey. Yeah, it's a free country, all right. But it goes against everything that my father fought and died for. And that hurts. How many of these proposals do you need to submit? Eight. Eight? Oh, you need me to check these numbers? No, no. I got it covered. Look. This is something you're never gonna understand. Maybe just cause it's it's a black thing. Well, now there you go again, making me feel all dumb and guilty because my poor old white brain just can't comprehend it. Is that how I make you feel? I'm just trying to pass for smart. Oh. <laughs> what do you think you're doing, Renee Jackson? Smoking a cigarette. Why do you want to smoke? It doesn't go with you. What do you mean? You know, like. I like to laugh and you like to giggle. I like the color blue and you're kind of the pink type. No, I'm the Aunt Kiki type. How come you all say aunt? It's aunt. It is not. Those are those things that crawl on the ground. Jim Nappy in a good old southern town. It isn't. Aunt Kiki says colored people are free and uninhibited. She says moving your whole body is a celebration. Of what? Our roots. It's a connection to our Negro culture. How is that different from our white culture? I don't know. I guess I'll learn that when I'm on the road with her. You're going on the road? She asked me to. After my mama hears me sing at the party tonight, I think she'll let me. What are you going to sing? One of her songs. You wouldn't know it. It's from our culture. All they did was draw blood to match tissue type. So who's next? I don't know why you go through all this trouble. You are too old to give bone marrow. We'll just see if I'm a match. Now, they told me donating is a simple procedure. There's nothing simple about all this, Sarah. You're doing this for Kiki. I'm not so sure about that line of reasoning either. Now, that sister of ours was awfully hung up on being the lightest member of the family. Let's not air our family squabbles in public. Either you're going to be tested or not. Renee. My mom with Uncle Jake. I, I can't. It's wrong. Baby, do this for me, please. Hold up. That, that's my cousin? He really is white. I think he'd have paid us a visit before this. <laughs> That's our neighborhood's too ghetto for him. I told you, Jake, he would have come by your house, but he's been very sick. 